Blocks. My name is Sam and today we have another awesome art project to make. We are going to be painting a really cool flamingo on the beach because it's starting to get cold out and I want something to make me feel warm and tropical. So let's look inside our box and see what we need inside. To paint our flamingo we are going to need our 8 by 10 stretched canvas, our paintbrush set, a black, a white, a blue, a yellow, a green, and a pink, some paint water, a little bit of our glue, or even the glue stick would work, and then just these four feathers that I have here. Pink feathers. All right, so go ahead and get everything you need. Also a paper towel or a paint towel. This is acrylic paint, so it won't wash out. So make sure you get the right kind of towel that you need or paper towel and press play when you're ready to start painting. All right, so let's get started by opening, opening our paints. When you open your paint, you have to make sure it's down on a flat surface and you're slowly opening one at a time. If this is hard for you, go ask an adult or a bigger kid to help you with this step so you don't spray paint all over the place and spill your paint. Can you guess which color we're gonna be using for the flamingo? Yes, it's gonna be that one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, let's get our big brush. The biggest brush, mine's red. I think yours should be red too the biggest one that you have, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to get our paintbrush wet. Let's start off with our white paint. I'm just gonna swirl it around in my, on my brush, making sure there's lots, and I'm gonna start to spread it out nice and thick, doing the entire top half of the canvas. Just do strokes from side to side, from left to right. Later, we'll do some different directions, but for now, we're just going from one side to the other, adding lots of white, because we are actually gonna be mixing another color into this white and blending it, which I'll show you how to do. So go ahead, press pause, and add white paint on thickly with a wet brush to the first half of your art, and press play when you're ready for the next color. Okay, let's go in with some blue. I'm just, after I wash off my paintbrush, I am just going to be going in the same direction, left to right, side to side, mixing it in with my white so it's darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. So you wanna keep most of your dark colors at the top. If you have too much paint on your brush, take some off. But really there's no right or wrong way to do this. We just pretty much want like a sky kind of color. All right, so go ahead, press pause and add some blue on top of your white and remembering to stay at the top half of your canvas. Okay, let's do our sandy beach for our painting. Let's go in with some yellow and paint the bottom of our canvas just like this and just like the blue slowly work our way up the canvas making it go from darker to lighter this yellow is supposed to be the sand if your paintbrush starts to dry just dip it in the water a little bit and keep going with your painting go side to side and cover the bottom half, or like maybe a little less than the bottom half with some yellow. So we're gonna have a canvas that's half blue and half yellow, and we're gonna try to keep it light in the middle, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. Honestly, if it's a dark blue at, top, at the top and a dark yellow at the bottom, I promise you your painting is still gonna look incredible. So go ahead, press pause and add your yellow. Once you are done the top and bottom of your painting, the only thing we need to do now is wait for our base to dry. 
So I'm using the card inside our box and I'm just kind of fanning it to speed up the process. You can take a break, go grab a snack, go to the bathroom, or you can use a hair dryer to dry your painting. You can put it outside if it's a nice day. But before we start the next step, we are gonna dry our painting or wait for our painting to dry. So go ahead, press pause, take a break, and come on back when that base is dry. my painting is all dry now let's draw the main thing in this painting which is going to be our flamingo let's get our brush really covered in pink paint and we are going to start with drawing an oval shape right in the middle of your canvas it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to kind of look like an oval shape first i'm going to do the outline of it and then i'm going to fill in the outline so that I can make sure it's the size I want before I paint the whole thing in. Once you have finished doing your pink oval, I am just gonna use one of my thicker brushes and fill the inside of my oval up. And this is gonna be the body of our flamingo. Next, we're gonna do the head, but we're gonna start with the body. So go ahead, press pause and paint in your entire circle, so, or sorry, oval. So you have a nice pink oval in the middle of your canvas. I am all finished with my pink oval. Now let's move on to the next part of the flamingo, which is gonna be the head. So let's uh, get a little bit more pink paint on our brush. And in the top left corner, see where I show you over here, we are gonna put another oval like the one we did, but smaller. So this one's gonna be for the head, like I said. So make sure that it's kind of a smaller shape and we'll connect the neck next. So go ahead and do that part. Okay, it is time to connect the head to the body now. We are going to do a curvy neck. I'm doing kind of like an upside or a backwards S, I guess you could say. We pretty much want to connect the side of the body going up to the head. It almost looks like a snake. But you can do your neck however you want. You can do it in like a candy cane hook shape or you can even do it a little bit straight. Um, but have fun with this part. Try to make a cool flamingo neck as best as you can. Make it a little bit thick, whatever size you think a flamingo neck looks like. And then you're gonna wanna connect it where the neck meets the body. And that's it, go ahead, do that step. Okay, so let's grab our thinnest brush and we are gonna add in some details with the black. I'm starting here with the eye of the flamingo. It's looking sideways, so we are gonna see two eyes. We're just gonna see one eye on the side, so that's all I'm gonna do. Next, we can do our flamingo legs. So I'm gonna do mine coming straight down, just like regular kind of straight sticks. But if you want, you can make kind of like an, a four shape or an L shape, because you know how flamingos like to stand on one leg. Um, I'm gonna do two legs down like this in case some of our uh, younger artists wanna keep it simple. But if you wanted to make it a little bit fancier, feel free to do that four kind of shape for the feet. I'm just adding some little, little flippers here for our flamingo, and it's starting to come together, guys. What do you think? How does yours look? Go ahead, press pause and add on your eye and your legs. For our next step, let's go in with the white and we are gonna paint a beak. I don't know if you've seen a real flamingo before, you can Google it if you want, but it's kind of got like a hooked beak where it's pointing down a little bit. Um, if this white paint mixes with the pink a little bit, that's okay because I'm pretty sure it's kind of like a white pink color, the beak. This is what mine looks like. We're gonna add some more black detail onto this, but mine kind of looks like almost like a horn or like a hook shape. But yeah, I think it looks great. Go ahead, do yours and press play again when you're ready. All right, time for some more details. 
I got some black and my thin brush and now I'm just tracing around my beak to make it stand out more just with a thin line and then I'm just adding a little black detail to it because I noticed that there was some black detail in a penguin's beak. Um, here I am going in with just a little bit more black to make my eye more round. I decided I want it more round. Um, yeah. And another thing you can add are these little knobs to the sticks on your legs of your flamingo um, to make it look like it has knees. You can see where it bends. I've rinsed my brush from the using the black and now I'm just adding like a tiny bit of white detail just to give it kind of like a feathery look. You can totally skip this step if you want, um, but if you want to add a little more dimension and detail, add a touch of white and just kind of blend it in with your pink, but only a little bit, all right? Press pause, go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so now let's go in with our green. I'm using my angled brush, the brush that is on an angle. And just to complete my painting a little bit more, I'm gonna add some leaf details. Here's how I do a leaf. I kind of just do one line going from the corner towards the middle. And then I use my angled brush to create these kind of leaf shape plants, I guess you could say. So yeah, I'm just doing as many as I want kind of coming out of the sides. There's one coming out of the corner. Um, hmm, where else should I put one? Add a little more green here, maybe another one next to it so it's not lonely. So I just start with one straight line, just like that. And then adding on my leaf details. You can make thicker leaves, you can make round leaves, whatever you want. Go ahead, press pause. Now it's your turn to do your leaves. Go ahead, press play again when you're ready. I'm just gonna add a little bit of yellow to my leaves just to add a little contrast and color. This is completely up to you. My flamingo is looking amazing and I really love my painting. There's only one thing we have left to do. So once you're done painting all your leaves and everything, our next step is gonna be to clean off our paintbrush really good and we are gonna add our feathers. Okay, so all you need is your glue that was included in your box. Get your four feathers. I decided to trim the ends off of my feathers with some scissors um, so that they were like a little bit shorter. Can't really see my scissors here, but um, I just cut the ends off the part that was pointy. And now I'm gonna take my glue and I am going to add on my feathers. Squeeze a good amount on there. Uh, you're gonna want enough so that you can put your feathers on and they are gonna stay. I'm just having them pointing towards the back so it looks kind of like a real flamingo, placing them on one by one. Isn't it starting to look kind of real, kind of like a real flamingo? It's making, giving it some dimension. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, I love mine. Go ahead, press pause, add your feathers. So there we have it. I personally love my flamingo. I'm gonna call him Freddy and he is gonna live in my bathroom. I'm gonna hang him up and I think it looks really bright and colorful and awesome. How is yours? Is it looking good? Of course it doesn't look like mine because we are two different people, right? So our two pieces of art couldn't possibly look the same, but I really would love to see yours. So please send me a picture if you finished yours and great job. I had so much fun with you guys and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.